aspect of rider biomechanics focuses on the rider in detail. A rider wants their horse to be straight, supple, balanced, etc. But a horse cannot be any of these if their rider is hindering rather than helping them due to their own position and balance problems. Please be sure to give this video the thumbs up and if you'd like to become a better rider, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified when a new video becomes available every week. This video is about why you need to get in touch with your inner centre of gravity. Both yourself and your horse have what is called a centre of gravity. The centre of gravity of an average human is around their navel. This means that if you were made of cardboard and someone stuck a pin in you at that point, they would be able to spin you around easily. It is the centre of your weight mass, if you like. Your centre of gravity differs slightly depending on your body type. So a typically shaped female with hips wider than her shoulders will naturally have a low centre of gravity, which is a plus point. If she also has a large chest, then that negates some of the benefit. A typically shaped male with shoulders wider than his hips will naturally have a higher centre of gravity, which is a disadvantage. So to have a lower centre of gravity is better. Your horse's centre of gravity is underneath where you sit. It used to be thought that the centre of gravity of a horse was lower and further forward than it actually is. This picture shows a more accurate approximation of a horse's centre of gravity. Again, a horse's centre of gravity differs depending on their conformation or body type. So a quarter horse that is typically lower in the wither or built downhill will naturally have a centre of gravity that is slightly forward of this point and a dressage bred warm blood that is typically higher in the wither or built uphill will naturally have a centre of gravity that is slightly further back. Training will alter the centre of gravity of a horse to some extent if that training changes the horse's balance. So a horse that starts out downhill with a centre of gravity that is forward will end up more uphill with a centre of gravity that is further back. For most riding disciplines, other than some of the western disciplines such as cutting, it's better for a horse to have a centre of gravity that is further back which means that the horse will be reducing the weight carried on the front end, the forehand, and increasing the weight carried on the hind end, the hindquarters. If you've ever ridden a horse that has a wonderful canter, a canter that felt light and balanced, that would have been because the horse was not on the forehand, but instead was able to engage and use his or her hind end properly, something a horse can only do when they have learned to carry a rider and themselves properly. A horse is already able to carry themselves properly, of course, before a rider gets on their back, but they have to learn how to do this when they have a rider on board. This is what good horse and rider training is all about. Back to the rider. Good rider training teaches the rider to keep their centre of gravity low and as close to the centre of gravity of their horse as possible. So a rider needs to sit in the correct part of the saddle, the lowest part, not tip forwards which puts too much weight on the horse's forehand and makes it even more difficult for the horse to carry themselves and their rider properly, and not sit towards the back which puts too much weight on the weakest part of the horse's back. The rider needs to keep their weight low and learn how to distribute their weight properly between their seat and their feet. In this way, a rider ends up surrounding the centre of gravity of their horse. A rider who can do this is far more secure and far easier for their horse to carry than a rider who can't. This doesn't mean, however, that you should be clinging to your horse with your legs wrapped around them. Far from it. It's balance that keeps you on a horse, not grip. Surrounding the centre of gravity of your horse is also by far the most comfortable and safest place to be. 
Think about how it feels to sit on the back of a bus, well away from the centre of gravity of the vehicle, and how much bouncier it is than if you sit in the middle of the vehicle, between the wheels and over the centre of gravity. So next time you ride your horse, think about where you are sitting. Are you in the middle of the saddle, upright and balanced, with your head above your torso, your torso above your hips, with your ankles directly below your hips, in a balanced, upright position? Are you sitting in such a position that if your horse were to disappear in a puff of smoke, you'd land on your feet with your knees slightly bent? Or would you fall on your face or your backside? Remember, if you're leaning forward or backwards, you're not correctly balanced. You'll be more difficult for your horse to carry and you'll be using unnecessary energy in order to ride. This means that you will tire more quickly and you'll become even more difficult for your horse to carry. A downward spiral of events. Unfortunately, you can't always tell by feel alone whether you are sitting upright. So ask an assistant or your instructor to tell you what they see. Failing that, ask someone to take a video of you as you ride and see for yourself if you are upright. You can send a video or picture of yourself riding to the Horse Riders Mechanic Facebook page or Horse Riders Mechanic Facebook group for feedback if you like. See the links below. The key is to learn how to sit upright and balanced so that you can ride as effortlessly as possible. You can then continue to improve your riding and help your horse to go as well as possible, an ever-increasing upward spiral of events. By the way, your saddle plays a large part in helping or hindering you to sit in the correct position, so make sure to look out for the video on that subject by Horse Riders Mechanic. Improving your position and your balance are at the heart of the Horse Riders Mechanic books and the Horse Riders Mechanic online course. Why not have a look? You can read the first chapters of each of these books on the website. See the links below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about improving your position and balance, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you get a notification when we release a new video every week. Please share this video with your fellow riding friends and please leave a comment below with what you found interesting.